Hello everybody, how are you? David DeFranco here from TechSocial.com as well as DDeFranco.com which actually just received a major website redesign. Just click below to check out the new visual tweaks as well as guides which means YouTube guides and a Quibbits guide. This is pretty much proof right here. You guys know I love Quibbits. I have won two Xbox 360s on there. Uh, the holiday bundle which is over there you can't see it and behind my monitor is the Modern Warfare 3 Xbox 360 bundle which I absolutely love. So thank you again, Quibids, for, well, being legit, and you guys are just awesome. This was definitely my hardest auction yet. I used 35 voucher bids, so thank you for your support. However, I used 176 real bids, which means I spent $105 plus $10 shipping on this. So this definitely was not my easiest auction ever. However, it was just one of those things where I was like, you know what, David, I'm just going to put money into this. and. Whatever bids I lose, I can just put towards the final cost, which is great because you can buy now if you uh, waste your money. I say waste because it's not technically wasting if you buy the product. So I was like, you know what, David, screw it. I'm just going to keep on going, keep on going. I finally won it at $105. So my final savings uh, was 54% off retail because this retails for $250. I got it for about $115 shipped. So there you go because I know I'm going to get people asking how much I spent on this, how long it took, and... It probably took about an hour because Maine is one person, Clive Alive 11, that's his name or her name, I'm not sure. We just kept going back and forth and well finally, I won. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to the unboxing of the XP500, which by the way will be used for my gaming channel, which is below for your convenience, youtube.com slash Gaming. Now I should say this is not my first Turtle Beach headset. I did used to own the X12 or 21, whatever it was, just search my channel for uh, Air Force right there and you'll see it. I just overly wasn't that impressed and because my gaming setup has finally changed because my 360 is right behind here by the way here's the controller if you're wondering what the Modern Warfare 3 looks like um, Modern Warfare 3 edition I should say I do have an unboxing on that if you're interested I love it overall, it's a great system so my point is I will use this for um, well game audio obviously but now I can hopefully use my Snowball or AT2020 microphone for the actual commentary so I should receive a nice boost in quality overall for that channel. And if that doesn't work out, then I'll just continue to use my cheap headset for a commentary. But I will definitely be using this either way because SSX should sound sweet on this. Oh, by the way, let's go over features first of all. I believe this is one of Turtle Beach's best products. I don't know if it's their top one, but it's definitely one of their best. All right, we have, here we go, digital signal processor, blah, 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 Dolby surround sound, which I'm really excited about. Digital wireless game sound, which is a huge deal because I hated, absolutely hated the cables on the first headset. They were just so annoying. And dual pairing Bluetooth because I can chat on my, I mean, I can actually chat on the phone if I want to or stream music. Voice morphing, which I won't use. Um, intuitive voice prompts. Um, it, it even has presets, I believe, and dynamic boost for bass and all that good stuff. So without further ado, as I mutilate my tripod over here. Let's just open the headset, shall we? I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to hear me talk for 20 minutes. You know, I'm not going to rip the box totally open. Because I don't know if this is going to end up on eBay in a few months or not. I'm actually very picky when it comes to stuff like this, but... Screw it. Seriously, screw it. <laughs> Alright, who cares? Let's just rip the box open. I should say the box is very large compared to my other one because it has the uh, transmitter and stuff like that. Okay, here is documentation. Pretty cool. Little instruction manual because this does have presets and everything, so it's not totally straightforward as far as I'm aware from videos I've seen. Turtle Beach, uh, this might be a sticker. I don't know if it peels. Either way, cool stuff, cool stuff, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Put that upside down. That's okay. Batteries, which are required. That's the only major downside about using a wireless headset. But I'm willing to compensate for that. I mean, compensate? Whatever the word is. I don't even know. What, guys, I don't know what I'm trying to say. USB cables and all that good stuff. This is your transmitter that plugs into the bottom of your controller. So let me get my Modern Warfare 3 controller again. Just plug this on the bottom, as so. And that should be it. Yep, just squeeze it on. And there's a power button right there, it seems like. 
Oh, yep, and luck is blinking. So, cool stuff. How do you... Man, that thing really wedges on there. Let's take the headset out. Pretty big headset. Sweet. Now, this is the main attraction besides the headset. Without this, nothing happens. Here you go. This is the receiver. I guess you can call it the receiver. Um, all your inputs. Dolby Digital, which I will definitely be using because this does have optical in, I believe. Yep, right there. Optical in and then optical out if you want to go back to your receiver, but that won't be what I'm doing this for. I mean, I'll just be doing optical and nothing overly fancy, basically. That's all I'm saying. Optical in, optical out, left and right audio for stereo, uh, line in volume, and your power port and power button. And on the bottom here, we do have grips, so this thing won't be falling. Well, it's actually not that great at gripping, but honestly, I'm really not going to be moving it around, so it's not really a concern. And, of course, going back here, oh, bypass for Dolby headphones. i got to figure out what that does exactly. This looks like your volume. And finally, your headphones jack. Taking out the headset itself. All right. A lot of plastic there. Very nice. I actually just played around with these in Best Buy um, the other day. I believe this is removable. At least I read on. At least I read on the box it was removable. Well, I don't want to pull too hard. Oh wait, maybe this comes out. Oh yeah, there you go. Pretty cool. I was afraid I was gonna break it for a second. Pretty cool, but I will be using this for voice monitoring. That way, I'm not yelling into my snowball mic, and I can, you know, I can actually hear myself. You know, I used to not be a big fan of the voice monitoring, but now I love it. So anyway, on the side here, we do have your main button, mic mute, BTMFB, oh, Bluetooth something, I guess, I don't know, and Bluetooth volume. I don't know, guys. I honestly have to figure out what all these acronyms stand for. USB, that's pretty self-explanatory. That's where uh, your Xbox controller can plug in presets, which is pretty cool and your game volume. And I hear when you press buttons, this girl talks to you in here, like telling you what's going on. So that's pretty cool. And of course, here's the microphone itself. I don't know how often I'll be using that in terms of game chat, but like I said, I'll definitely be using it for game monitoring. And there goes that evil clock in the background. But to wrap up this video, I cannot forget this. This little feature is very cool to me because I like convenience. Of course, this does come with a little stand built in which is very cool if you ask me. So there you go guys, there's the unboxing of their Turtle Beach Air Force XP500 for the Xbox 360. Before we have this video close out, let's see how these look. Pretty comfortable, I gotta say, very comfortable. Very protective too. Be honest guys, is my head big? Sometimes I'm not quite sure. Do I have a big head? Be honest, just, you know, comment below. Seriously, I don't mind. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. You know me, I try to make my unboxings more entertaining than the typical unboxing, just my style. But I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, guys, I gotta promote my Quibids referral link that is below. Uh, but also, feel free to check out uh, my Quibids guide, ddfranco.com slash Quibids guide. That'll give you a free ebook of 25 tips on how to become more successful on Quibids, and overall just tips to look out for and beginner things to avoid. And I gotta say, I've had multiple people tell me They've won some pretty sweet products. They've won Beats. I even had somebody win a MacBook Pro. Pretty insane if you ask me. I've had people won multiple gift cards, which I have as well. I've won maybe six or seven gift cards so far, but I'm telling you guys, this site's legit. Again, guys, keep in mind, if you really want an item and you don't want to lose bids in the long run, just keep on spending on that one item, and eventually you can just use the Buy It Now function, because just, just to remind you, in case you didn't watch the beginning of this video for whatever reason, I did spend $105 in real bids on this thing and it retails for $250, so I still ended up saving about 54%, which I gotta say I'm pretty happy with. So thank you guys again so much for watching, I really hope you guys enjoyed, and of course if you have any questions regarding Quibids, just post below and I'll do my best to help you out, and I'll see you guys next time.